the way. Vitality versus Spirit map number two, game number one. And well, we are live in the pist around here. Chopper with the utility. We've got just five sets of Kevlar on the other side of things. And there he is, Shox, back in the server. Nevera, he'll be on the bench for this one. And that's Shox's first frag. It is the first of the day. Oh, oh make it three. Quite the announcement. I'm back, and I've just taken this pistol round like a bull by the horns. Quick and neat. Yeah, so uh, you just sat out the whole first map. You didn't get to warm up like all other players within the server, and then you get three crisp headshots. So I'm not sure if he sits there listening to the comms or watching the gameplay on the stream or what he's doing, but he's definitely warmed up because Shock's right there. That's what we need to see. Three huge kills, and away we go. Yeah, maybe this is their way to force Shock's to warm up. They say, look, Shock's, okay? We're doing the sub thing. It means you have to play an hour of DM while we're in the first map. And suddenly, you want? suddenly they've got him DMing. Well, they've got a bunch of coaches over there, right? Matt from the Emulate team, uh, back of Legendary 1.6 fame. I wonder if he's with Shocks. You know, all right, Shocks, we're going to do this. We're going to be going over your nukes, Can't works, wheels. your flashes. We're going to do a bit of extra prep. I'm so curious to see what's going on in the, uh, the back lines there. But anyway, we'll just be a light pistol upgrade here. Yeah, I kind of like this. It should be Chopper trying to find an, a, a crazy headshot, and he has jiggled his way into... At least a chance, trying to be baited in by those Glocks. And, yeah, not speed today, Chopper, I'm afraid, old boy. Oh, he was one bullet shy of a quad kill, but that's six kills for Shocks in the first two rounds of play. He's going to be feeling nice about that. The thing is, when you go back and look at the series for everybody, some of the other guys are going to have a couple more kills than everybody else. So you're going to have to share. As uh, Zywoo, Ooh. Famous in main, shouldn't be too long before he finds this frag. A jiggle from SDY should that's be the death it. of him. Hello, hello, hello. Cavalry arriving from top of heart as well. There's Masuta. Oh, could you just die, SDY? 3 HP has baited a chance for this balance, but unfortunately, a Miss Deagle shot spells the end. Some Two die zero. eventually, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, SDE. Change name to. All right, so just, just some curious notes here. I might need to go back and, and double check a few of their previous games, but Shox has been over towards ramp pretty deady for these last two rounds. I'm not sure if we'll see... Is that a change-up, are you saying? Well, I, I'm pretty sure it used to be Masuta. I could be mistaken. And it is likely that I that I am possibly mistaken. Oh, shut up, I knew you. That, I knew that Shox used to play in Flux quite a lot. Possibly, maybe it could potentially be the case that I am at some point. Certainly not I'm wrong. I'm wrong very correct. often. Um, <laughs> but you guys just don't fact-check me enough, guys. Oh, so man. I'm getting away with it. He's got his Abacus and Calculator out, though. Your super fan is listening, so you're in trouble. Now, Masuta, what have you... Ooh, he spots the head of one and takes the head off another. Can he get away, you cheeky bastard? That's really big. Apex, unfortunately, though, just peeks into the aim of disbalance and that early advantage found by some very nifty positioning has been leveled. A flash and a peek? I don't know if Zyra really wants this. He could flash above the warehouse, but it doesn't favor them. Masuta needs help. Oh, disbalance completely caught out and eliminated by the Famas controlled spray. And the trades keep coming. This battle in Yard has been won out by Magic. Some great shooting. Keep Spirit in control. But as they back away... Oh, perfect timing. Oh, my God. Perfect timing from... Misuta gets eliminated. That's Mir. So paranoid, so prepared. Can Shox find another triple kill? <laughs> Three rounds in a row? He's That'd already nice. done it twice, but this time he'd need a clutch. Triple, triple. Triple, triple. Okay, well... This is going to be a difficult one. Now, this is a Shoxy special if he's able to pull off a 1v3 in this situation. 30 seconds left. Very slow from Spirit. SDY, the fact that he's checked it and called it clear twice, he may not come back to it. He is. Look at the timing on this, though. Oh, yeah, SDY's got him. Books him. That was a close call. They were about to start their advanced top site. Problem solved. And Spirit, take their first into round four. All right, money a little bit. Troublesome right now for Vitality. You can see RPK there only with the $1,400 loss bonus to his name. Now, I just found them to make a mark Great in this shot. round. This one right here is big. The fact that he adjusts, gets the kill through the box. Obviously, those boxes, are, I know they look very strong, but they're basically made of, of cardboard when spamming through the AWP like that. But, uh, still a nice little adjustment there. His scoreline will be 2-1 to one. RPK down to the P250. We have uh, MP9. Full buy, bro. That's all he needs. Oh, shocks. Okay, sound cue heard. They know there's someone very close to that Molotov, and Mir thinks better of it. What is he up to? Twice Chopper has played around that red box. This time it's Saiwu to punish. And an early advantage shapes up again for Vitality. 
SDY's out though. He's into the top side. Masuta has a lot to do. RPK's only got a P250, but from the hut position, he rains down Terra. A double kill. Tapping away. Masuta's doing it all. He's got himself a triple. Mission accomplished. Just disbalance. Who's using that smoke? Passing like ships in the night. He's escaped only for a moment, I imagine. Shocks is close. And he can't react in time. He'll take an orb. A free orb. Yeah, that's a nice pickup right it's a there. Flop. A Rush would a call flop. that. Yes, he would. R.I.P. Rushley. Uh, he is with us, but only in spirit today. Oh, hey guys. Oh dear. Oh my God. I got oh, the, uh, did you just solder a new microphone? You, you gosh darn right I did. I was uh, connecting the capacitors to the uh, circuit board and uh, it sounds good, right? Yes, it does. Nice. Yeah, it almost sounds better. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, it, uh, I think it, you know, I did a good job on the cables. Yeah, you really have done very well. Uh, and so it's great to have you back. Our observer, of course, Rushley pressing the buttons. In fact, Rush, I mean, I know it's crazy, but it is it kind of glocks. We don't know. Oh, it is glockish. You get him feeling up to a rush. Have you warmed up like sharks? Can do. It's uh, our favorite map, which is nuke. So it does get a little tricky, but Zai, oh, he's, he's MC, doing... can you take the reins? He's not yeah, here. MC, yeah, MC, you wanna you wanna take over? All right, my hands are off the keyboard and behind my head. But uh, it looks like the head of Chopper almost getting taken off, but it was just the chest shot coming in. Finds another one. He's looking for more CZ elbow. It's gonna be a nice eco ace, both on top. Oh, he sees more. This Give is gonna be him. Him an absolutely him. crazy ace. Let him have it. I'd be screaming at my there teammates. Oh, PK. He killed him through main. Did he shoot under? Oh, did he shoot up? up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Rush, can you get the guys to dig through that one? Oh uh, yeah. Um, Bastion, did you get that on uh, context? Yeah. Okay. Um, Yan, get that rolling on EVS as soon as you can, and uh, we should be able to get this. These are Zywu kills coming in. Absolutely pivotal. We're gonna kill them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're gonna mute his mic now. Uh, that's way too much time for Rush. Uh, get the hands back on the keyboard. MC. Thank Thank you. There it is. He does. There it is. I haven't seen that before. That's great. Well, we'll give him that one. Headshot. He's all the ace, but we've given him that one. Headshot. So I've just gone back to uh, double check. The last couple of games, Shox has been primarily playing over towards ramp. So uh, I was mistaken. Always. But uh, he's found a lot of impact here early, old Shoxy. Secret smokes will come on up and oh, down they go. Oh, really? Was there a gap or did no. he just take a shot? That's a pot shot. Magics. And as well, it's like one of the best players from Inferno, losing him. Oh, he's going to be frustrated. There's already two players lower. They're searching. Oh, that nade under yeah. the lip there. No damage really done. Well evaded. Apex, you're playing with fire, bro. Oh, they're pushing in. He's backed away. Did he close the doors behind him? Was he raised in a barn? And the wall bang is good. <laughs> oh, my on? God. Apex banged down to nine, forced <laughs> off. This is quite the way to announce that Nuke is gonna be a banger. Quick start, Chopper into decon. Apex is gonna get shot, surely. Pre-fires it, finished off. It's messy. It's very messy. Could be disbalanced finding RPK here, and it is. Great shot, should be the round as well. Zaiwu's still alive though, so don't speak too soon. Bomb down, and a one versus three established. He's backing away. He was spotted ramp, they know where he was. He's lost all of his teammates. Looks like Spirit's lower hit, despite the absence of magics on it has been converted. Good fragging from everyone else. Everyone finding essentially a team ace. That felt so good from Vitality. I was getting hyped. The fact they had two players rotate heavy lower. They were both playing towards that decon side. I thought they were going to bait that off of each bang, other. Dude. It actually forced off Apex. Yeah, and that right there was the tide that turned in that round. Once Apex had to drop off that ledge, as soon as that decon kill went down, he was isolated in the site, couldn't play it out of the line of sight, and oh, he gets taken on down with ease. So. All in all, Spirit have pulled one out of the hat here, able to post their second round on the board. Scoreline four to two. And Zywu will retain the AWP. Residual cash as well to drop a gun for Masuta or Shox. Could even drop two Famuses if he's feeling extra charitable. He's dropped an M4. Will he drop the second? He has enough to do it. He's thinking about it. They're talking it through, and he will. So Mr. Charitable Zywu there dropping two M4s going into round number seven. A big investment for his teammates because he is rocking the AWP right now. If he falls, they lose this round. He's invested in what potentially could have been a hero orb or a, a rifle in future rounds for the star himself. Getting Shocks. round seven underway. Yeah, look at this aggressive play. Nade's designed to find him. He does just chip away. He's throwing the molly as well. So Chopper, he's always contesting that red push. It cost him his life in the first two, but this time it's Apex we jump in eyes with. Ooh. Oh, he's in trouble here. Nade looks really promising though. Yeah, look at the damage. Mir gets the brunt of it. He's definitely suspecting presence and he's flashing, he's peeking. That's scary stuff. Disbalance has taken the line now. So he wants one. 
and done, right? That's a perfect gap. He clicks ahead and falls off. That's yeah, the he, dream. He can't pick again. He just has to hold this line. Click and drop, click and drop, click and drop, click and drop, click, drop. Okay, back out of there. He actually sticks around. He wants more. He wants to make it a little harder on them. And that's what Disbalance was waiting for. This is going to get awkward now. Zywoo can only hold. And Shox is going for a round the world flank. Spirit are not rushing this. And that could pay into Shox's play as he slowly works on the noose behind them. But this is a double rotate. Masuta and RPK down just in the nick of time. Oh, they're in so much hot water here. What are you supposed to do to defend this? It's going to be bullets. Oh, and Disbalance finds another two entry frags. T-side orping on Nuke. Am I not clear Masuda here? He has got the first. Chopper needs to go and not enough from Masuta. A two versus four now. The CT's nowhere near it. Shox and Sai were just in the lobby holding save. on here, heading back to T-spawn to save. Yeah, look, Apex getting a little bit hungry there. As soon as he'd whittled through all of his utility, he just wanted to go for a quick little jiggle to see if anybody was home. But by overextending, that opened the avenue towards the lower site. You saw how much rotation Zawu starts going towards ladder base. Shox is pushing yard. Both players in top site look like they're posturing towards the vent, if not dropping lower. And because they take a little bit too long to cobble together that setup, they wanted site control. Well, it's no good for, for uh, RPK in a position like that. You can see the AWP, it's always going to win out from a... Long range jewel. And all in all, Spirit are doing a great job on this T side of staying poised and collected after they find the openings they need. So four to three. Saved guns means we will likely see a force buy from Vitality behind the shocks can drop a rifle. They can get some SMGs and some upgraded pistols, and they should be able to make this one work. But there's the opening. And there's the second. Get them both. Great stuff. This balance has always kind of been the perfect lesson for me, even just as an individual, but I'm sure for anyone else watching him play in this, the way that T-side orping can work, it, it's all about this kind of a read of the game and patience. Like you, you have to be visualizing how the CTs are getting their info and waiting. And it's, it's a game that uh, is, is not only mechanical, but mental. Well, they didn't buy. Okay. They've opted for the save here. Shox hasn't dropped anything. We've upgraded pistols on Apex and uh, PK and there's one of the rifles gone already. So this round is going to be horrible for Vitality. Yeah, look at the smoke drop was just thrown. He's on the fly dip. And now they have full yard control. Still have to be scared of Zywoo though. If they run into Zywoo, they're in trouble. Towards the top side, they've actually been able to avoid him. Yeah, they're safe from this one. Should just mop up these easy kills on towards the top side. A minute, 15 remaining on the clock. Apex will get a consolation kill, but all in all, it's Zywoo who has to hold on to this orb. So now the question is, does Spirit put out the net? Do they look for him? I think I, I just have a sneaking suspicion that they will. Chopper's already walking through lower site. He might go up secret. It looks like he is. So he's heading back to despawn. He's been there three rounds in a row. Disbalance might want to contest, but he's heading towards trophy. So perhaps nothing to be reported. Chopper comes out very hesitant. I would long gone. His stench perhaps still lingers. So let's think about a couple of these key rounds here from Spirit. This one here is a bit of a gimme. It's just against the pistols. But they were able to get that round where Magix gets taken down through the smoke. And then they just continue lower, finding the trades onto, I believe it was RPK towards the decon side and Apex over towards the window side. Uh, then we had the gun round only two rounds ago where Disbalance opened up onto Apex and then was able to find the follow-up onto RPK behind the silo in the lower site. So I think that Vitality needs to either try and lock down a couple more of these choke points because one of the keys to success for them on Inferno on their CT side was not allowing... Yeah, it was a big shot, Shox. One tap. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> Can appreciate that. You see the pre-aim, the, the pre like, it went through the smoke and then it's just movement keys from here. All he had to do, a very micro adjustment of his mouse, real neat stuff, impressing Shox. He's seen many a frag, so definitely credit given there. But it's a timeout called by Vitality, and you can understand why. That's three rounds in a row going Spirit's way, and the lower site has been exploited. I wonder as to whether or not they'll be, you know, looking to make adjustments, even when they, it felt like they had all the pieces in the That's right the place. That's, That's the problem. The problem. It is I felt that their rotations were good on the Vitality side, so this is where, and it's so difficult to listen to this as an in-game leader or a coach, when it's like, I just missed my shot. But sometimes, maybe that was the case. You were just out jeweled and if you get out jeweled well, that's all you can really talk about. I mean, we talked about their capabilities. If they're both on, that will happen. You will just get a out jeweled Fast, very fast. What are you up to? Chopper's charging in. He's actually caught RPK just like that. The flash is oh, perfect, no. and Masuta caught in transition. Team Spirit have taken this round and practically won it in the opening 20. Now, this is where save, oh, as no. a call, oh. 20 seconds into the round, is oh. one of the 
most horrible things you can possibly hear, but it is the only choice. They didn't have any map control. They didn't do any damage. I want to see what RPK was throwing, because like the Molly was already there, and he's completely unawares. So he was not expecting any sort of presence. Yeah. Well, this is just going to be, depending on how long it takes Spirit to plant the bomb, guys, a uh, long round. Because yeah. we can see how much has been given up. Take a look at the radar, top left of your screen. You can see two players tucked all the way back in towards spawn. Shock's trying to help out Zywa here in case he does get faced. And then you can see Apex in warehouse. He's tucked into the back corner there as well. The best thing that Vitaly could hope for is if Spirit get lazy. If they limp in one at a time, they get a couple of exit kills, they're definitely not winning this round. And look at this. We've just had about 30-ish seconds of Spirit dotting their I's, crossing their T's, and making sure they don't give up a round where they may manage two amazing openings in the first 15 seconds. Yeah, I mean, and, and this is Nuke we're talking about. Some of the slowest rounds we've seen in Counter-Strike have, have been played here. I can. I, I like a hunt. I like the fact that Mir's getting inquisitive. If you take a look at the residual cash right now, Chopper has 8k remaining. They can throw a couple of bodies at this to take away these saved AWPs and rifles. I know where he is now, but the problem is the bomb is so far ticked and the cavalry for Mir very far away. They won't be able to run down Shonks or Zywa over towards spawn. If Apex over peaks, maybe he gets caught off guard, but you can see here, tucking in safely, wants to hold on to this rifle because, again, Vitality will be able to buy going into round number 10. So Team Spirit have had some nice pace changes. They've attacked different sides of the map. We've seen them go yard down to slower. So they got ramped down towards lower. Here they managed two top picks and still went ramped towards the lower side. So an affinity for that B bomb site. Let's see if that changes going forward. Vitaly need to start mounting a couple of rounds now. I think six or seven essential for them on this CT side. There's a lot of talk on Twitter that, you know, Nuke in some people's opinion is a T-sided map. Starting now. to lean that way for sure. I'd say with how well teams can use utility and how it strings the CT out, you can see right now they're already having to rotate. Yard Smoke's come out has to be respected just because of how well Vitality, I mean, how well Spirit have been able to manipulate this area. What is Zywu supposed to do with this? I mean, he'll call nothing Yard. The secret smokes, ha, here we go. This is the information. It's Apex and he's going to drop the smoke now. Surely, surely doesn't want info. Nade looks promising, but holds on to it for now. Realizing there's still 75 seconds on that clock. He's in absolutely no rush to burst through his utility. Throws it out. No one's home. They're actually heading back up. But that's the nade they were waiting for. It seems like that's deterred them or incited them now further into the lower site. Zai was flirting with the idea of a ramp rotate. A main smoke. Now Masuta's choosing to moonwalk out oh of God. that. And that's surely the, den the death of him. A flash has saved his life. SDY on red doesn't get spotted. Zaiwu doesn't have the info and Magic has opened up the lower site. They're going to flood in and more lower site success. They kept them guessing just enough to keep that rotate at bay. And now they're so tucked in. Chad, I can't believe I'm saying it. They might, save again. they might have to save again. How? And this is like five, if not six rounds where Vitality have just had to cut their losses. Spirit should put the foot on the throat here and try and take these guns away. SDY managed to rip RPK's rifle out of his hands and now it's just three remaining. The AWP... That'd be the key. If they can take that away from Zywu, if they can hunt him down, once again, he loves the spawn, starts the round and ends the round in the same place. Shox will find a consolation frag again, but that's all they've been. There's nothing exciting about what Vitality are bringing to the table here on the CT side. They're being dictated to, and well, Shox seeing if he can find another, but all in all, might be his undoing. Whittles him down, eventually finds the frag. Half HP at this point. They won't get to him in time. Masuda went down to the bomb there. Oh dear. Where was Masuda? That's not uh, not ideal whatsoever. Yeah, go into the bomb on a save cash round. these dudes have got? This could be a stomping here. If Vitality don't grab hold of this range, this horse is going to run away from Look them. Look how low the frag distribution is on the spirit side of things. Everybody's six kills or less, and they've managed six rounds. Yeah, that's a full team coordinated effort right there. Okay, Vitality, the time is now. If ever there was a time to come back online, it would be this. What's the strap? Disbalance on the naded door. We'll be holding anyone that wants info top site. Chopper's working yard as usual. Zywu's tucked in early on secret. Interesting angle that could very well pay off if Chopper continues his walk up. It will just be a, a jiggle away. Default spread though. Pressure perhaps yeah. towards ramp. Now they are just looking for picks here because Vitality have an inquisitive nature about them. They like to push and prod around, see if they can find anything based off the information they're given. And early, they've been given no information. There's been a little bit of argy bargy towards lobby, a couple smokes thrown towards that yard position. 
But those were CT smokes because right now we can see all five smokes remaining for that of spirit. They're lining theirs up. Looks like a late secret wall. <laughs> It's a little bit early. Top of reports that there is a stop molly and you can hold on for five seconds. Now they fly Ooh. through the sky. Perfect timing. Daiwa is in a position to confirm there's no one there, though. Top site, get ready. Masuta, hold hut. RPK tucking in as well. Chopper coming in from main. And they report no, one's no one. They're playing from hut. This is good lineups. RPK only gets the one. Masuta, so paranoid about lobby. He's got the perfect timing. Oh, oh. no! A meal of it made. He doesn't finish either of the frags. Fortunately, Shox is there. And now all onto Magix. He's got 30 seconds. And he has got that bomb down. Zywu and Shox, though, they're going to go one high, one low. Molly does isolate him and force him high. Can't find the adjustment. And that's a successful retake. It looked so sketchy after the Masuta and RPK single frag posted, but they break through, and that was exactly what they needed. Oof, all right, well, they started to take a little bit of aggression again. So the smokes came out towards Yard, and instead of, you know, chasing the rabbit down the hole, heading through the vent and seeing if anybody's home, they actually took the fight towards Hut and got very, very lucky there. So Vitality, when they are losing lobby going forward, uh, losing yard going forward, they might opt to take lobby a little bit more. That's at least what round number 11 taught me. Let's see if that continues forward into play here. Round number 12, scoreline currently 6-5 to five in favor of Team Spirit on their map choice. Map number 3, if we need it, will be Dust 2. And let me tell you, I bet Navira is back in for that one. It's a full buy round. Zyra was able to pick up his AWP. Shocks held onto that AK-47. Utility... Been thrown out early from Vitality and early grenades from Spirit just to make sure there's no CT side of aggression. So they're doing a great job of conditioning Vitality in some of their early moves. Vitality has only Vitality Zaiwu even has only died one time. I knew you were He's right. Only died <laughs> once. It's mad, isn't it? That's the saves. That's the perfect summary of the saves. You see so many nades in the air. He's actually looking to reposition. He wants this angle. He didn't get it last time. Now he's been Molotoved off. He is safe but he could very well be overrun. Zaiwu needs to re-aggress as soon as these flames fade. And that's the frag he missed. Now looking to dart away, looking to survive. It drops the molly, will survive to live to fight another day. But Mir has found Apex. Warehouse clear, Yard continues to be a problem. They're, they're flooding through. Misuta standing to fight, but this is going to be an overwhelming double peak. He evades the flash, but can't keep his crosshair where it needed to be. Spirit maintaining this man advantage as they head into the inner sight. Good work from RPK. SDY plans to swing in, though. They're hunting him down. They've lost full top sight, and Spirit are playing a great game here. Shox has found a way back in. Lobby is denied. Not again, surely. Are they saving again? I mean, he's 11 and 1. If I'm Zaiwu, I'm like, you know, I'll, uh... You want to get involved at some point, though. This is a lot of rounds of Counter Strike played. So I said, I think. Money's just not fun. Or, yeah, six or seven for Vitality at the end of the half. So it makes sense to save. It's the right call. It's not the exciting call, but. Uh, they want to make sure they can take home their toys and come back to play another day. Yeah, I mean, you're still in a situation where you can eat seven and a half. It's true. Very true. Financially, going for this one, you feel like a bit of a tit. As soon as that AWP is lost and your disbalance continues to have uh, every weapon he desires, every round he's played here on the T side so far, he had about 13K. It's now been whittled down to, well, what, do the mass 1900 plus his 7.6. He's got plenty of cash to splash this half has been fantastic from spirit individually diverse we haven't had one particular standout look at the scores there's two frags separating your top from your bottom every member pulling their weight this was the frag from Mir to take control and chopper winning out against misuta on main the rest was just housekeeping yeah i think chopper's kill there was the round winner and you could see how fearful zaiwu was once he got pressured there the rifle's getting up close and personal towards secret man he had to drop away he was out of the round at that point what's he gonna do go up the van and try and fight with the orb he had to rotate the long way around and that's forced vitality to take a timeout if you take a look here at the scoreboard from round six onward it's almost been one-way traffic bomb going down round after round after round and well i guess that's been the story for vitality saving as much as possible because zaiwu 11 kills one assist one death they've conceded seven rounds and zaiwu has only died one time that is absolutely absurd. Shocks as well, with only four deaths to his name. So those two are the culprits, at least for the saved weapons. And that timeout has concluded. We'll be getting this one back underway. Seven to five, the score line now. Guns have been able to be purchased on through. The fuse kits are out. Molotovs for everybody. Smokes as well. Let's see if Vitality can put up a bit of a fight here on this CT side. Over towards Heart Magics is quick.
So their molly that the CT side Vitality are throwing here is more to stop a rush, but it's opening a door for a pick, and you can see Magic's going for a similar punish as to what we saw from Chopper. Here's a wear. That's not a fun fight for RPK. I don't know if you want to repeat when you've got Mir and Magic, both the ones willing to take that fight. He is still standing around. The flash working out, but Magic's has gained ground. This is a very spread and split pick. Chopper is the loose thread. Not necessarily how much is outside, but Magix does win his duel eventually. RPK continued to challenge them, and that's cost him. And oh, wow, Chopper was ready for Apex's hidey hole. Looking good for eight here. Spirit to win the T half of Nuke, their pick, and you can see why. They have to stand and fight, though. Vitality, surely. They need to fight in a round, right? Like, that, right now, I think Team Spirit have done their homework fantastically. You can see every time they get a pick, they just stand and wait for another aggressive move because they know how Vitality like to control this map. And every option that they've gone for has been absolutely dismantled. We had the first couple of rounds Here of the we game. Go. I can see it. Is it a triple? This is at least a double. At least a double. shoxy has got the angle. They'll walk up ramp eventually. They like their lower hits. Oh, he's moving. If he peaks this, he could be in so much strife. Oh, man, he's got to get the timing perfectly. Perfect timing. Wait for it. 20 seconds. They have to plant. They have to plant. Oh, they're going top. They're going top. What a pivot. 15 seconds. Masuta's on the lower side. He's rotated down. It's just Zywu. And he has hit the first. That was necessary. Anything else is a bonus. And he does take down magic. Masuta pivots in, but Chopper was ready. And now the round, it peters out. Eight for Spirit. Sensational T side. What a pivot. Last second into the top side. Oh, whoever called that, the fact that everybody just believed and bit down and went for it, that's where things can really start to fall apart. There were six seconds left as that bomb went down or as that final frag came in. But Magic's with the opening kill on RPK. This is what I'm talking about. That utility not being deep. Certain teams will throw it so it lands further in the heart, but Lol. they can just beat it. He actually just shot straight through his teammate on yeah. the timing. You got to do it, mate. Yeah. Take him out. Knows the repeat's coming. Knows the repeat's necessary. Damn disbalance. Fast impressing. And now they go in yard behind the smokes this time. Eight rounds, no double Ooh, digits. Interesting. No smoke on the cross. They, they were hoping it's not fight. being held. Yeah. And now Apex is being oh, hunted. Oh, disbalance. That's greedy, but it nearly pays off. One HP. So unlucky. Through the corner of the box, Mir can find both here. And suddenly Spirit are back in the round. They have the advantage maintained. Thanks to Mir. Chopper as well takes down Saiwu. Nasty piece of business, this. The CT's the air. You've got lobby. What are you going to do with it? That's been the spirit story. They let them take that, eventually vacate it. Now lower sight, top sight, Mir's putting pressure everywhere. The bomb's still yard. This is a kooky one. Mir doesn't have to do anything right now. He has top heaven control. Holding on to that, more than enough. The fact that they know they have that under T side remit is huge. The bomb, however, they need to pick that up. And as I say that, SDY. Just out of interest, stupid. what is Mir looking at? Like, what's his... He's just the hut jump up. Okay, cool. Well, I, I'm surprised he's even that committed. I thought he might just sit and wait because making sure they can't come back up the ladder, they don't know where the CTs are right now. That is a huge piece of information. If they decide to go for a top crunch, which is looking likely at this stage in the round, 40 seconds left, he can pivot at any point. So as they go through main to take contact, Mir can finish them off or act as bait. He can go first, draw some attention. The other two come through and trade out. Well, that smoke's going to get Masuta Ansi. He knows there's something coming. Molly, oh, he lives to tell the tale. That could win them the round. That could be enough. They still check it. And now Masuta hits the shot. Suddenly, Mir reveals his location. Shocks. He can re react. He hasn't got the HP. Seven for Mir. It's just not enough. And Vitality, a gamble stack in the top site, pays off to overcome the odds. Big round to win as well. Otherwise, they would have just been dealing with that max loss bonus. Here, they're actually able to at least get some guns, drop them across, and continue forward. Seven on the half of Vitality. How this game has played on out wouldn't be horrible. The fact that they felt that their best option is to save round after round after round, and eventually they get a little bit of success, is showing that they know that they don't need a massive bag on this CT side. Otherwise, they would have been contesting more so. so going into the final round of play, it'll just be RPK on a Famous. Everybody else with M4s. AK for Masuta. And speculative shots there from SDY. It's going to keep them and hold them at bay. But they're taking ground. They're going to take a fight. Shox is taking room. Masuta over towards Hut. They, well, were looking for kills. Zai was already dead. Oh. Masuta just a little too slow on the trigger. And Apex's spray a little too wild. Puts them looking very good for nine. A double kill, though. Here we go. Shox. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Gets more than he bargained for on the info. He knows there's two yard. That was almost a freebie right there if he was just ready and raring to go. But... Caught off guard by I just bounce his position. Magic's taking the bomb. Where's he taking it? Is he going back? Yeah, he's going yard to join them. So Masuta's relocation could very well be the play. He could flank Chopper here. 
How aggressive is he going to be with it? Magics can punish. This is all about timing. There's Chopper found. Masuta quickly traded, but a triple kill. He's provided enough, and he's set Shocks up for success. A very important one versus two. Makes the half a whole lot more competitive. It's felt like Spirit have had full control, but a single round discrepancy would help you forget all about it. They're both up top. We know they were yard. Oh, oh, Alan's just driving around the corner with the Tech 9. A 9 6 half looking good on Spirit's pick. See if they can maintain as they head into the defense. Is Nuke T-sided? Well, we're about to find out. Vitality presented with just six on the defense at Spirit's map pick. First game of IEM Beijing. And his balance is rocking that Beckham look. He's got the headband on. He's ready to uh, kick it and bend it like the pros. And let's get into our second half. I'm Alex Machine Richardson. I've got Chad Sponge Birchall hanging out here at the caster booth. And we ready to rock and or roll. Uh, expectations for this one are pretty much uncertain. We don't know necessarily how much T-side work Vitality have been putting in, but we've already seen good signs of life from Spirit, almost anticipating that dust too. Into the pistol round, it will be very telling. Magic's hears a lot and doesn't decide to stick around. They concede ramp room. Look at the nade. Oh, oh it could have been cool. Doesn't quite do enough damage to be considered worthwhile. And man, Ajax may have been looking at his map a little slow to react, and they've already flooded the lower side. This spells trouble for the CT retake. 
Yeah, no kit here for the retake either. Oh, so it may not be a retake. Look at that. Oh. They've opened the doors. They contest. They fight fire with fire and bullets. Bloodshed. Three oh. versus one. Two of them in the doors. They didn't fully clear it before the bomb was going down. And in that chaos, they thrive. They're going to pepper away at Zaiwu. Good plant. He does get it down. A bit slow on the trigger there with SDYCZ. But all the same, double digits found. Bomb planted. That will put $800 per player, thanks to Zaiwu. Yeah, so selfless play there from Zaiwu. Could have tried to play out that situation. Had a lot of time to work with. Could have scooped out the bomb. Could have played out the round. But he opted to just get that C4 down. And what that's done is put them in a position where they have some options. Vitality, just take a save right now and get the AKs out in the next. Or buy into this one. Drop the guns across. We know that they can drop AKs, that they can drop Galils, that they can make this work. It actually looks like they're going for a half purchase here. So next round, they're going to get 2400 as a loss bonus. Are they going all in? They this have. This is an all-in. Okay, they've all in. It looked like they were going to keep Damn. a bit of residual cash, Look but all in across the board. Look at three Tech Nines, and a load of Util. Okay, so they've limped out the standard yard smokes. There's one in the sky for secret. Make that two. And no one's going to follow it through. They're actually going to go for a top hit here. Has there been any rotations lower? Well, there you go. There's your answer. Okay. This band's rocking an AUG, and he's going to have a lot of company. Oh, Chopper, just sticking around. He only gets one. Hold on. This is getting awkward. That's an orc drop. Real problems now. Big problems. They're coming up loud. They're coming up and proud for Magic's on the first, but tapping away is shocked. Oh. His tech nine into the toes is enough, and Vitality win the second round force. That was so weird and scrappy for a second there. It felt like, okay, well, they were going to get pushed out of position. Chopper probably has a couple. I just bounce and mop up the rest. But the fact then before you get you... that second... The thing is, if they didn't deal with the players on the side, there were already multiple members. Look at look at this. There are already multiple members worrying about rotation. Someone's watching lobby. Someone's already looking towards main. And that's a massive round right there. You could even argue that that round is more important to win than the pistol round because 1,400 is the loss bonus on the CT side. If you lost pistol, at least you get the look 1,900. How conservative you can be of your shocks and Zyru. You're coming into this, this full, comfortable round with an Orc and an M4 you haven't spent a penny on. The rest of his teammates can have whatever they desire in Apex. He's a fancy, fancy oh, he loves himself, a bit of a scout. Yeah, so this is one of the weird changes that uh, we've noted since Apex has taken over as the in-game leader of this squad. On the four spies, he will... Uh? Sorry, what? Okay, so we just swapped POVs as I was fully flashed, and it was Shox's flash that got him. So the team flash fortunately traded, but not ideal. The M4 still lying idle. I imagine that's probably hard to retrieve if it's still up on the main roof, too. Being pre-aimed by shots. filthy yeah, angle. That is pretty perfect. Oh, clean. Does he expect another, though? That's the real question. The only Julies, you're not worried about it from that range. But yeah, so well handled by Vitality. It looked like it was going to get out of hand for a second there, but this being a two-on-four situation, low HP for SDY, shocks scoped on up. Yeah, you're not winning that duel, man. I don't think so. You're good but you're not Julie versus Org good. Or maybe he is. Oh, Apex is going to spot him. He hasn't. He's completely unawares. Oh! <laughs> Any weapon. A P250, you might even kill him. It sounds like someone's like walking on a tin roof, the Julies. Yeah. yeah. So a bit, of, a bit of an odd one there. Not my weapon. Tell you that. Rush, how was it having your fingers off the numbers for 10 days? It was weird. I just played a lot of Counter-Strike, so it's kind of nice, actually. Okay. Do you, do you feel kind of more honed in? Uh, it always takes uh, like at least one map to get used to pressing the buttons again, but uh, I feel like we never left now, to be honest. Yeah, so it does feel kind of, it, Yeah, and, and which, it, it's I don't mind it. You know, we come into the same space. Yeah, I'm hyped, to be honest. I'm, I'm feeling good. Oh. Ooh, that's the end of that one. There's the P250, I'm telling you. Cheaper and more effective. Gets the frag and it's 50, I'm telling you. Cheaper and more effective. Gets D, I'm telling you. Cheaper and more effective. Gets the frag and it's 8 to 10. Vitality are closing this T-side gap. And look at the re the cruel reality for Spirit. It's an eco. Yeah. And look, one. Oh, that was actually a very good trade there from Apex. That wouldn't have been great if they didn't trade that frag. So all in all, good stuff. Now, as we take a look going forward, you're right. They will just be going for a save on the Team Spirit side of things, which should give us nine rounds for Vitality. Now, note the amount of residual cash I just balance. If you want to be in a primary AWP at home, Make sure you're holding onto a little bit of extra cash on those force buys. Maybe not buying armor with your pistol upgrade. You need to make sure that the big green comes out. Your team, well, they rely on it in certain situations. Good utility usage early. Chopper chunk down. Mir's low as well. And Rushley, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's got the rest of this one. Yeah, all right. Uh, MC, you can take it away for me. It looks like an outside stack with the USPs. Chad loves this strat. He likes everyone to hunk around the AC unit towards heaven. 
And you get a... Well, I, look, fly outside, Rush. I'm going to give a free eco strat to everybody at home. All right, MC. Oh, look how smooth this Ooh. is. Oh, wow. Is he on a controller? Yeah, he's uh, joysticking right now. Dude. Uh, so this position here, I don't mind it, but I would like to have a guy with a flash. And then you get everybody else kind of tucked in on this side of warehouse and behind these crates. And then when you call the commitment yard, you sail the flash high into the sky. And as they're in no man's land, everybody peeks on out and gets a couple of cheeky freebies. You're damn right. It's a good strat. Hasn't paid off for us yet, but it, it kind of looks cool. We usually get one or two. Did but, you just uh, drop it? Oh. Apex now with the P250, but uh, it looks like they're going to all group towards the outside area. This is pretty good. They could definitely pick up possibly a rifle, but shocks. He's liking the scopes, man. I think he's happy on this org, but they're just going to get weird on apart here. Not too much to say. Not too much to do. Oh. RPK run right by one. <laughs> Mir does get one. Apex wrapping up. All he needs is that P2. Does pick up a Mac. And that's all he needs to finish the round. Easy peasy, guys. All right, well. Thank you, Rusty. No, no worries. I think thank we're you. about to get into the business rounds right here because scoreline currently 10 to 9. Spirit still with the lead. But this will be the first gun round of the second half. I Disbalance will have that AWP. Now, Vitality, they don't mind some of these quicker rounds. They don't mind playing a little bit more scrimmy, a little bit more brawly. It gives their players the chance to thrive and make their own decisions within the mid rounds. We did see how good they were in the mid rounds on Inferno once they had taken areas of the map. That's when Nevera was playing. Shox was on the bench for that one right there, but let's get this one underway. So standard utility usage. Looks like they're setting up for a top pop. This one might be quick. Smokes are out, flashes to follow. Oh dear, Chopper. Fully blind. That's no fun for anyone, and the trades are good. Disbalance is better. Catches RPK. And the bomb's yet to be planted. We're into a 3v3. That's Masuka's responsibility. He tucks in, doesn't want to fall foul to a heaven peak. And actually, the one man who's been spotted in heaven is the one man that's left it. Three CTs left, and it feels like a save. <laughs> it feels like a save. Yeah, here's the problem. There's no kit. There's only a smoke. They could drop the one way. I mean, look, if this balance finds anything main, I imagine they go, right? What's that? Oh, here we go. A frag main. Surely they want to have a look, a little look at this. They do. They've flubbed the smoke completely. They're trying to one way over a non one way smoke, and oh, it works. Wait, hold that. Magical. Just in the nick of time as well. We thought it could very well have been the save. They didn't have a kit, but they have got the time. Oh, just geez. about across the line. They were really down to the final few milliseconds. I don't want to be in team speak when they're reviewing that round of the Vitality side because this was their round. They didn't have any reason to start looking for frags like that. They don't have the lead. They're not in a commanding position. Shock's definitely overpeaked. There's no way of putting it. He's overpeaked in that situation. They went to chain their secondary smoke with the CT smoke to, to block their one way, but they flubbed that as well. And unfortunately for them, Spirit are going to steal away a bit of a round. 11 to 9 now. Guns back out. No warp on the T side. Great grenade. Catch that one in the gob. Shocks down to 40 HP. Hasn't even seen anybody. And look at this. The progression towards ramp. I just bounce. Has a freebie. Bombs down. Okay. Well, there you take those. Bomb lost as well. That's boatloads of info and control. Not too favorable, but disbalance is actually sticking around. The bomb's been retrieved, so problems... What they get now? Oh. Evacuate. Yep, but disbalance has that info. He's called it completely clear. They are heading outside, and the CTs have full lobby control. So now this gets interesting and uncomfortable for the T's. They're trying to be silent, but the jig is up. <laughs> Apex, you definitely made footsteps there. No, Chopper's basically put the nail in the coffin of this round. Look how janky this is. Sketchy. Looks like they're a little uncomfortable for sure. Spirit taking no liberties. Knock it down. What round is... Round one. Yeah, are they saving? I think they are. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, boy, okay. I haven't seen a T-sided uh, save in some time. This is this is strange because it, it is a three on five. Their map territory got completely taken away from them, even though they were the ones who grabbed secret control. Let's just take a look. You can see shocks here waiting for any frags. Same with Zywu, but now they're just hunkered down. They don't want to let go of these AKs. Now, their loss bonus... Uh, look, it, it's not even the conversation. What the conversation should be is the residual cash that we're working with. So 
There'll be no extra money given to Apex, Shox, and Zywu going to the 1900 next round. 1900 for the dead man members. So that means that Masuda will be able to buy himself. You could argue that RPK could do the same, but you could have Shox drop a gun. Now, they will be able to get the buy working. There's no problems there, but it's just so weird to see that they didn't try and trade back any frags. They just conceded, and they'd be more than happy to do that throughout the entirety of Nuke. If you're just joining us, that CT side... Well, that's a big reason. They've been playing the macro game. Yeah, look at the deaths on Zywu, everybody. He only has seven deaths, but they've lost 12 rounds. Now, in the first half, uh, he was sitting at 11, for, 11 and 1 for what felt like, I don't know, almost the entire half. But they need to get stuck in now. The scoreline, 12 to 9, round 22 getting underway. Need to see a bit of fight and a bit of bite out of Vitality. Yeah, they're going behind their outside smokes. Dodge the nade this time. It's a better start. And they'll be making footsteps. That won't be heard. There's no one close enough. But uh, the orb has rotated towards the lower site. That'll be high disbalance. Most on up magics. Well, the cavalry has arrived, but that's left ramp a little bit weaker. And same with top site. Yeah, they really want this lower presence to be felt. Whoa! <laughs> Drive by as I will peek straight across. And disbalance, even though he had the orb, gets completely brained now. 5v4. Chopper is on that lower ramp. Mir's rotating into support. They've got three players lower. Shox and Zywu, with this presence, have managed to pull all the rotates. Mir hears them coming in from ramp. He drops the smoke underhand and hopes that that will hold them at bay. But Zywu's found another. another. He's just single-handedly opened and entried into the lower site. If he gets this one, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, he got the warning, and he's adjusted his aim now. It's just a question of the jiggle. Zywu's pre-firing, and Magix misses it. Got a third. He has won them the round. Low of sight is Zywu's, and Vitality profit. That's what I love about having somebody like Zywu on your team. Throw him in, set him up. He was entry-fragging. That was a Zywu go kill him at round. He would, yeah, and that, that's why I love like having players like Zywu and Simple in flexible roles, in places where you can use them when you need them, because they're just so good. And this is going to be the 10th on the board for Vitality as SDY wants to hold on to this M4A4. Shox is looking and in the wrong way. I really enjoyed watching Zywu jiggling from Magix's POV. Yeah. You just saw how much of a nuisance it was. It was a threat, but it was defensive. It was hard for me to make. Am I spraying? Am I tapping? How many bullets do I have left? It was a, a very good use of all the tools in his arsenal. And I, I want people at home to try and understand what that means when they already have a two-man advantage, right? So there's only three players on the map left for them to find. If Zywu is currently engaged and just staying alive, just keeping him busy, you can either find other CT players and isolate those jewels, or you can be pushing in and taking space away from Magix while he's taking this awkward janky fight that's being drawn on out so this is the entry bosh Anymore? get the bloody hell out and there's those jiggles you were talking about so with the x-ray on obviously you get to see a little bit more but it's just the shoulder being shown time after time and they're so frustrating because you don't want to commit to a spam you don't want to be putting yourself in a position where if you do get swung on you can't pivot and that's gonna be a big round for vitality if they win this one they break the money of team spirit oh we got the zywu warp out to play on the t side here we go Shox is back. So is Zaiwu's AWP here on Nuke. And they got a Molly for Mir. He will be forced to vacate main. And he hasn't actually felt the wrath of that yet. They wanted to smoke him instead. Oh, Mir's playing a dangerous game. He's got he's got the hot, cruel task of trying to maintain info yard. And well. There's a lot of them there. Three of them just patrolling. Disbalance actually wants to wow. contest. He's lost 80% of his health to a Molotov. Oh, he spotted the leg. He knows Apex has warehouse control, but they're actually going lower. Oh, and Mir has to find the frag. That's big. This could very well translate positively now with RPK holding up the rear. And ooh. He's been spotted. He has. So I was hunting him, and he is going to find the frag lower. Could very well be magics. the target. Do they pivot? Spotted, starting to get nervous. Heading up into Zywu's aim, and disbalance falls. Four versus three. Looks like they have the numbers advantage, but the crossfire is so strong. Magix and Mir, we said they're quite the duo. Another well, one. more a solo. Zywu continues to pop off. Back-to-back -back triple kill. T-side round, this time on the AWP. Uh-oh, can't find him. Yes, he oh, can. Oh, come on. Oh, frag. Zywu just takes control, demands respect, and demands the 11 for Vitality. Oh, that's it. That is all she wrote for this round. SDY, he hangs around, sees if he can find something as the smoke fades, but he should be getting out of dodge. It will have to be a save round. Carry the rifle through, my friend. Give your team something to work with. <laughs> and there's the frustration. 
you know exactly what he's feeling there. He wants to have a go. He wants to have a crack, but the right answer, safe. Oh, yeah, it makes me feel sick. God damn, SDY. Nice stuff all the same from Zaiwu. That's the effect he has. Makes people a little mad. The salt injected into the veins of spirit. That was all four. Yeah. And they want more. They're not done. Oh, he doesn't even get to fight and hold. He's got himself the first. Oh, Good team flash. flash. Team flash. Double. <laughs> Make it a triple. Okay, Zaiwu. I know you want the ace, bro. Oh, no. Oh, he gets it. No. He gets Why? it. One second left to spare. He steals it away. <laughs> he didn't need to face. Gave it to him, didn't he? Oh, all right. Well, I guess Zaiwu didn't get his AWP in the first half, so they thought, all right, you're having a second crack. We'll Have a round. You, we'll give you the ace in the second. Oh, that's completely shattered spirit. Oh, look at this, though. AWP in the lower sight getting an ace. Uh, you, you don't see that ever. This one, this reaction shot, it looked like it could have really lost them the round there. Just enough time to reconsider. reconsider. His approach. Okay, so we're at 11 to 12. Timeout has been called and has fully elapsed. We're ready to get this first game of RIM Beijing 2020 online EU group stage off. And there is your MVP of round 23, five kills. And Shoxi's opted for the Eco Slayer. That's what... Uh, That's what you're going to call it from now on? Are you going to rename yours? Uh, the Eco Slayer, it, it does come out. Obviously, it's a specific MAC-10. You, you choose it from your MAC-10 toy box. All right. Only when you're going for Eco Frags. Well, if you play with Rush, he's going to ask you to look at his MAC-10. I'd love to do that. I want to see Rush's MAC-10. He just doesn't invite me anymore. He's playing with... He's found new friends. Yeah, he's got a couple of them out there in the Danger Zone realms. All right, well... Okay, here comes the frag. Dead. Oh! <laughs> Nice, magic, maybe another not to be lingered in the corner and caught the scouty Mac 10, but he, I mean, baseline, mission accomplished. Uh-oh, door swings open and a chance, it was short-lived. And now with a bomb ticking away in the full USPs, this one has been confirmed. Vitality have completely leveled the disadvantage and Chop has gone for a smoky P250 retrieval. He's just hoping to find something, maybe even a rifle, maybe some damage, force the rebuys. And he has. Well, that's a nice kill. Well, I think that was an important frag as well. That just added 300 to his bank balance. He was only operating with 1,900 before that kill. Might find another little bit of a gap in the smoke. And that'll be it. So all in all, with a 2,400 loss bonus <laughs> through, look at Zaiwu making that easy. Just going to be out of his balance. Chopper goes down to the bomb. I just bounce falls as well. They can scavenge the AWP. And that was four in the round for Masuda right there. So big stuff. Orp's going to be thrown across. So they'll maintain that one. And... I just bounce to buy one of his own, but what I've I got want... one incendiary for the CT round. Yeah, that's where I wanted to go with this. They didn't leave themselves a lot of cash, right? And then they couldn't do it. They didn't have a massive loss bonus they were working with either. It's only 2,400 coming into their bank balance. They lose this one. They are in a lot of strife. You don't want to find your money broken on the tail end of a half, especially on the CT side. Interested to know what they do in, in lieu of incendiaries. Actually sent disbalance into the top site to contest early. And it could work out. RPK playing with fire here. Doesn't get caught with a pin and pulled. That's a, a nice change up. And there is a gap for disbalance to exploit. He'll maintain info. Could very well be the demise of RPK. How dangerous, how risky does he oh want to be? God. Great play from disbalance. Sticking around and punishes. All right, well, a bit of a flub smoke there from RPK has quite literally opened the door for Spirit to... Take away this round, boosted, boosted back up on Hunt. Back. This is great. If he can patrol back towards top of ladder, he can now keep his eyes towards yard. They have three rifles towards that top site. Zaiwu's even taken some damage. And no map control or presence for Vitality. There's a minute on the clock. They're working with four smokes, one Molotov, a handful of flashes. This is a very important... No, 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 no. Okay, all right. <laughs> Jesus smoke Christ. <laughs> Okay, smokes are being lined up. This is good. Vitality need to grab some control, but Mir, he's an absolute rascal he's around this yard position. Drops a Molotov. Does it ruin the wall? It has done. So, I don't think that Maybe. smoke's meant to be there whatsoever. No, I don't think so either. Mir confirms it's nothing yard, so this smoke and mirrors has fallen flat now into the stack. Walking out squeaky, just balance. He found his first here, and he's just postured ready for that. The flash is perfect. perfect. Absolutely it's perfect. No one lower. And two of them have dropped. They've got so Three. much space. Zywu gets down as well. They're fighting from ramp. Apex has lost his jewel and no old oh, Shoxi. He's There's no time. Gotta try and plant. 
He's got time. I think he's got at least enough time to plant this, but Mir is going to be pushing in, catching the nade as well. 15 HP, can't react in time. It's all on to Masuta. So many targets, so little time. Clean oh. onto the first two. Miraculous save. It's all onto this balance, and Masuta dealt an impossible hand, has managed to dig himself out of trouble. One required, and he's in a powerful position. Oh my Space god! Good. Masuta clutches up for vitality. The rookie no longer. An absolutely miraculous play and puts 13 on the board for V. V? The big V. The flying v. v. Let's see that one again. Great shooting. Shocks, you can see he knew the bomb had to go down. Zaiwu just in the nick of time gets it down and Masuta picks up the pieces. Oh my god. Whoa. I cannot believe he converted that one. The fact he gets Huge. that second. The fact oh. he pushes out of decon when he knows there's one yeah. on, on the bomb and he knows there's probably one above him that he, he's ready for some wristy action um, it, 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 with his mouse. Disbalance. Nice shot on the scout. And now Miz Deagle's going to connect. It does bring Apex down to an oh. uncomfortable amount of health. That's the worst way to go with the Deagle. You get two tags, but they were to the chest, not to the stomach. So that's five HP left for Apex. Okay, well, this one, they're not out of the woods just yet, Vitality. 95 and 2. You just... Uh, you just I punched my monitor after yeah. those ones. Don't punch him. Hello, and welcome to Apex's Smoke Tutorials. Today, we're going to be doing a complex one. It requires you to stand somewhere ambiguous and stare at something ambiguous. I think he's looking for heads. Okay. As much as uh, I liked where we were going with that, Thanks. I think he was just looking for noggins right there because he's low on HP. He wants to control this flank. That means RPK has to get into the pack. And more magics. What have you got? Not a lot. No, and they've actually gotten across without any contact. Ooh, baby, that's dreamy. Okay, now Chopper is down lower. Apex has been parked to stop the flank, and he is in a prime position to do so. But only a CZ-75 and a careful LVS separating Chopper from his demise. And oh, Magix is spotted. Great spray control. And it's not much better for Chopper either. He's been found out. Full rolled SDY. He's got a Desert Eagle and a Dream. He may find RPK. Give it a good go anyway. Doesn't move, doesn't flinch. Sees the barrel, misses the shot. 14 for Vitality. Oof, all right, Vitality, they're uh, not taking too many risks here whatsoever. This is uh, some good stuff to see. It, it felt like they were being dictated to throughout that entire first half of Counter-Strike. You just saw them saving round after round. Every aggressive CT side of maneuver they went for after they lost picks, Spirit punished them, but Vitality, they are controlling this very well on their T side. The economy, well, it's finally buoyed to a position for Spirit to get a buyback on the board. Ice Bounce, love his AWP out again. SDY has actually opted for the shotgun. He's gone in here with the alligator. We've got M4s on the other three. Utility much better this time round. But 14 to 12 now. Vitality are taking the lead on map number two. Two more rounds and they'll be closing this in 2-0 fashion. Ooh, Zywa's head was spotted in his balance. Realizes he's on a timer. Relocates. Repeaks. And takes the head off, Zaiwu. Great play. Continuing to contest and apply pressure when necessary. He calls yard clear, and Chopper's even added another to the tally. Dives into the vents for survival. There is a glimmer of hope that Chox peeks into an AWP and takes his head off, but it doesn't sound like fun. Now, if I'm the coach, fun. Now, if I'm the coach, if I'm Apex, I'm saying, let's just get as many kills as we can. We don't even have to win this round. You have a minute and 10 left on the clock. Park your feet. Hope some frags come to you. And if not, we can start working this out because the Ooh, money situation for Team Spirit's in the bin. I've had a premonition. RPK, if he dies or not, it reveals disbalance and Shox kills him. Okay, now Shox kills him. Oh, or not. Quick reactions, double zoom for extra safety. And this round is spirits. The amount of impact, as Chad has highlighted, is all about the frags. It's not necessarily the round win, but Masuta's already clutched up once, and there is a lot of space, actually. They're so pushed up. I feel like he's winning this round. All right. I know that sounds ridiculous. All right. I know it sounds insane. And You just said you had a premonition. I actually think he's winning this round. I mean, the, the fact he's got uh, here, here's the issue, and it's heaven. Masuta clearing top site. And planting safe from heaven. Mir will push in. And the suitor wasn't anticipating such an early presence. Now, in my mind, he, he got that kill and then he found the other three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but obviously not to be the case. And 13 on the board for Spirit. Turns out we're not Shaman. No. And we can't predict if the we, future. If we pretend, yeah. you know, we'll be right eventually. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Probably not. Broken clocks. Yada, yada, yada. Look so how much cash they yeah, got. Yeah. There is so much money to be working with. And a big part of that is the six... Oh, sorry, five on the trot that they've been out, able to muster up until they were eventually stopped. They'll take uh, their second to last time out. Probably a good 
point in the game to be doing it. 14 to 13, Vitality with the lead. Just one round separates them from Spirit here on map number two. Now, if you're not too familiar with the format here for IEM Beijing, it is two groups of eight teams in a GSL format. So it's a double elimination bracket, but I can simplify that for you. You win two best of threes and you're through to the playoffs. Four teams from each group will be making it through to those playoffs. We have some massive names in attendance here. Astralis, Heroic, we've obviously got Vitality in the server, Na'Vi joining the rest of the pack as we've gone back to the European side of things. Decoys? They have three decoys. They have opted to intentionally have three decoys here, Alex. I do not know what we're about to witness. All right. Is it going to be through the skylights, making it look like a top hit? This is really curious. That's a decoy he's lining up. I think they might do this to bait out the Molotov that Mir used ah. earlier to stop their smoke wall. I think you're onto something. Yeah, decoys in hand. They're doing their outside decoy smokes. Shox is lining up his as well. Okay. I'm interested. Let's see if the molly comes out. They're going to hear that. Yep. Pulls the pin. It was only the HE, though. Oh, he didn't. He, he didn't throw anything. Well, he didn't have a uh, smoke, to be fair. But all the same, <laughs> decoys had landed outside and then come the smokes. It's cool to see. It is a change up but it hasn't necessarily re reaped the reward they were hoping for. <laughs> Shox has only got a Glock. Oh, what's happening? And he's been caught through the smoke. An odd turn of events for such a, cr a crucial round of play, but into the smoke he leaps. Oh! What is happening? What's happened? Is it... Oh, they got too tricky. Go on, Zywu. Bailing him out. He has, and Masuta's has found another. My God. Oh, oh, it's all over. Three kills just like that. It turns on its head. Magics, what are you made of? It's Zywu that's made of stronger stuff. Another quad kill <laughs> turnaround just like that. I need to see that one again. Slow it down so my little peanut brain can process. Did Shox only have a, what? One. Masuta gets the other. Yeah, Zywu then responds onto disbalance and hunts down the final frag. Nutty stuff. Coming through the smoke as well, just taking all the risks, all the liberties right there. That was nuts. <laughs> oh, you saw how much uh, SDY was wiggling his mouse after the first Zywu pop off. Well, it's happened again. I'm trying to work friction out friction burns now. I want to work out why Shox only had a Glock. Yeah, I don't know. That was a that was a kooky turn of events. He had 5,400. Ran into a smoke with a Glock and lost his head. Now Apex versus Mir. Ooh, baits in and takes the shot. This is falling apart for Spirit. So much hard work on the first half, oh, it's but it's over. all gone. It's all over. Vitality of 2-0, Danuk. And just Magic's burning force flushed into Apex. One frag separates them from a sterling T performance. Zaiwu in particular standing out. He wants to hunt, he wants to finish, and he has got the spray. Vitality, 2-0, Spirit, best efforts. But again, the French continue to impress and show a degree of mental fortitude. Strong stuff. We'll be back after the break to break it down.